Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Cold Fear. We're into part 13, so let's get into it. Of course in the last episode we uh, managed to uh, code for the experimental chamber PC. What? Where's the experimental chamber? Um, of course last time we uh, got the vaccine for... Anna. We now have to go and find Anna. Uh, I don't know what PC this code is for. Hopefully it's in here. It's not? Okay. Right. As per normal, I have no idea where I'm going. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, it's a spectre guy. Fuck. Of course. Get off, you bastard. So much health off me, that was so intense. Oh shit, yeah. This is probably where I was meant to go, to be fair. Although, what I do need is fucking health. What the fuck? Unlocked. Oh, I hope it's through here. These guys are all locked up. Right. I can't kill you unless I can see you. Those fucking flames are. Pressure. Yes. Fuck's sake. Why didn't I see that before? I'm glad I burnt everything else to shit. That's for sure. Okay. This is better. We have a door. Shit, those two of them. These things are fucked up. They really are. Right, that sounds like there's still another one. There's my pistol. I shot this water. Fuck you, bitch. This looks like an elevator. It is. Me figuring all this shit out on my own. Oh, that's some, that's some ammo. Good, good. Oh, I gotta go back through here. Damn thing stuck. Ooh, we do go back through here. 
Now I've had uh, people say that this game is very dark in terms of like the actual lighting. Uh, unfortunately that's not something that I can actually um, change. Uh, I've looked in all the settings of uh, I'm not getting the game, in there without the right code and I cannot change anything. So I apologize. Uh, if it was on PC I'd probably be able to uh, adjust the settings a little bit just by using my computer settings but hostile life bomb detected in a high security area. Excellent. This is not a test. As I say, probably would be able to change the uh, the brightness settings if it was on PC, but as it is the old PS2 game, yeah, I can't do anything unfortunately. Alright, so how many doors we got? Oh, fucking hell, there's loads of doors. Or is there? One, two, three. Right, there's number four doors that I've got to go through. Okay, well, I guess we, uh, so we start there. I guess we go right. See even if this is a door. Oh, it is a door. Okay. How you doing, pal? You look like you're in a bit of pain. Scientific log. Okay. I have no idea what's going on in there. The damn thing's of stuck. stuck. I've come to the wrong place, I'm sure. To start, at least. But I'm sure we'll have to come back. We always end up back. But of course I've got to fight this big fucker, haven't I? Shit. I'll continue. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna have to fight all of them and I at some point. That one is this one we were about to go down. Uh, so, get that old shotgun out. God damn. Those things are huge. Don't want to face too many of those, but I know I'm going to have to fa face many of those. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. Got anything on you? Can't even check your body. Let's see ya. I bet I'm not going to be able to see the next one here though. What's this? More juice for the flamethrower, of course. A med kit, looks like it. And this is something else we can take. A note about the yellow steam valves. Okay, okay, so they also can be uh, shot to uh, produce little steam vents. I say little, probably big steam vents that will fucking really hurt you. Okay, that's the way we're meant to go. Okay, so that's it for episode 13 of Cold Fear. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Cold Fear as a part of my Weird Wednesday series, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time.